morning, all of you. Now, children, before you study the muscular system, I am going to explain the type of movement joint. For better understanding, the type of movement joint, we divide it in following steps. First, flexion. Second, lateral flexion. Third, hyperflexion. Fourth, extension. Fifth, abduction. And sixth, induction. Seven, elevation. Eight, depression. And last, circumduction. It is all about the steps for understanding the movement joints. Now first, flexion. Now children, flexion is a movement in which it describes the bending movement. Now, I want to draw your attention on figure number 1 and figure number 2. Now, children, we are seeing in figure number 1 and figure number 3 a bending movement of elbow joint and knee joint. When the joint moves up and down. Otherwise we can say when the joint moves forward and backward. At that time the angle decreases between the segment and its proximal segment. Now again the angle decreases, decreases between the segment and its proximal segment that is known as flexion. Example, elbow bending, leg moving, arm moving, clenching of hand into fist, it is all about your flexion. Second, lateral flexion. Now, children, I want to draw your attention in figure number two. We can see about the lateral flexion. To move the neck and trunk in one side. That is lateral flexion. Now, we are seeing in figure number 2. When a person stand up, stand a straight way or vertically, at that time, their center of gravity is on 0 degree. And when a person moves, left side from the center of gravity. At that time, the center of gravity increases 35 degree. That is known as left lateral flexion. And when a person turns in right side, at that time, the center of gravity increases 35 degrees, on 35 degrees. That movement is known as right lateral flex. It is all about your lateral flex. Now, third, hyperflexion. Hyperflexion, it is the movement 
we will get in solar joints. The movement that created in solar joints that is known as hyperflexion. Now fourth point extension. Now children, I want to draw your attention again on the board and figure number one and three. Figure number one and three is showing the flexion movement and extension movement. Due to movement of joint up and down, otherwise we can say the movement of joint backward and forward. We are seeing in figure number one and two here elbow bending and in figure number three knee bending. We are seeing the angle between body parts, the angle between the segment and its proximal segment is increases and when the angle is increases between the segment and its proximal segment that is known as extension. So at last we can say about the extension. Extension is opposite of flexion. Extension is opposite of flexion. This one is the flexion and this one is extension. So we can say about the extension, extension is opposite to flexion. It is all about your extension. Now, fifth point, abduction. We can see about the abduction. Abduction is a movement of a spreading. In this case, the body part Otherwise, we can say this segment, a part away from the middle portion of the central line. Now we can see again, children, I want to draw your attention on figure number four. We are seeing the abduction that is related with spreading. When a body part is a spreading, when a digits, the digits, a part away from the center line, where the center of gravity situated. We can say, in another word, abduction is raising the arm up. That is known as abduction. And next, abduction. We can say, now, children, we are seeing in figure number four, when the part, body part, or the digits, a part from, away from the center line, that is, Abduction. And when the body part or the digit bring back together near the center line, near the center of gravity of hand and foot, that is known as adduction. So at last we can say adex, adduction is opposite of abduction. This one is abduction and it's opposite that is adduction. Now, next point. Elevation. Elevation. Elevation is a movement in which the body part increases in superior direction and inferior direction. When it increases the superior direction, that will be 
animacy. The best example for animation that is a struggling at the time of a struggling the scapula is increases up the scapula this one is the scapula and scapula is already situated on the back shoulder this scapula increases up that means we can say in another word when the scapula increases or moves in superior direction in superior direction that is known as animus and next depression we can say about the depression depression is opposite of elevation because in depression the scapula moves in in various in various direction otherwise we can say when the scapula go on resting position go on previous position and that movement is known as depression now last point that will be circumduction we can say about this circumduction now i want to draw your attention on figure number 6 we are seeing the best example of circumduction is hip joint shoulder joints such as arm such as neck such as hand and in the other way we can say sarcom duction occurs in throwing the ball and in serve the tennis service tennis ball and next example bowling the cricket ball that is the best example of sarcom duction it is all about your type of movement joints have you clear thank you now homework first explain five type of movement joint second question explain flexion and extension with a suitable diagram third question explain elevation and depression with suitable diagram and last question give the better examples that examples related with circumduction at last we can say i will give you the assignment for session 3 which you will download from google classroom thank you and have a nice day good morning all of you now children i am going to start the chapter muscular system for better understanding the muscular system we must know about the systems muscles and muscle tissue now children first of all 
we will see the systems. We can say about the system. System is a group. Now again, system is a group of different type of organs which carry out the essential or a specific function of the body. Now example, like as a digestive system, respiratory system, reproductive system, excretory systems, so on. Now it is all about your systems. Now second, muscles. Children, we can see about the muscles. Muscles is a type of tissue made up by contractive cells and fibers. It, it provides the movement to the organs or parts of the body by contractive contractions method. It is all about your muscles. Now, third muscle tissue. Children, we can see about the muscle tissue. Muscle tissue forms the muscles in the body. It is found in each part of the body which makes up one third part. Otherwise we can say it makes up more than one third part whole of whole body weight. At last we can say the refined definition of muscle tissue. We can say about the muscle tissue. Muscle tissue is a collection of muscle cells. Now repeat again. Muscle tissue is the collection of muscle cells. Most of muscles attach with the bone of a skeleton. Most muscles attach with the bone of a skeleton. They have ability for contraction and expand. It is all about your system, muscles and muscle tissue. Have you clear? Thank you. Now homework. First, explain the term system. Second, explain the term muscle and muscle tissue. At last, I will give you the assignment for session 4, which you will download from Google Classroom. Thank you and have a nice day.